Well, it's finally time for a video that isn't supports only, because I've been doing a lot of them. We've done like four of them in a row or something now. We are working on Linny today, and I'm pretty sure he is the last five-star character we need to build. Yes. So we're going to be getting Linny built, and then we'll deal with the other four stars and the Traveler at a later point. Linny's a bit fun because he kind of requires either a mono pyro or three pyro and one animal or geo team. And that is something we can't really run because we do not have more than two pyro characters. We're going to run Emily with him because everything about her kit is burning. So she can do off field burning stuff and Linny can be on field doing as much damage as he can. So first major upgrade is uh, getting him off this. I do not know why he is on the messenger, but we're definitely taking that weapon off him because it is not very good. We're going to put him on the craftable Fontaine weapon, Song of Stillness. It is about the best weapon I can get for him at the moment because the rest of our bows are either energy recharge, which he doesn't really need, EM, which he also doesn't really need, and more energy recharge. So the Song of Stillness is going to be our best bet for the time being. So let's go farm this once probably. Okay, well now we can jump over here, weapon, get this up to probably quite far. So we're going to need to farm those hydro things as well. Let's go farm everything now. Okay, well that should be everything. We can now get Linny up to level 90. Boom, there we go. Very, very simple, very easy. That bumps his crit rate up a little bit. Still, this is a pretty horrible crit rate. Although he is running Marichose, so that goes up a bit. Talents are currently at six and five. Let me get both of these up to six as well. We kind of just want to do everything as a whole because his burst does big damage his skill does damage and his charge attack is obviously his main kit so you're probably gonna want to do everything which is fun because that takes a lot of resources but i have plenty of books it's just going to be the other stuff we can get that to 70 and probably 80 okay yep there we go there is 80 i don't think we're going to be able to push 90 no definitely not i will probably farm we need three of those if i can craft them that'd be nice Oh, perfect. We can craft them. That means I don't need to farm them. I just need these, which I'm going to need a lot more of. And then we are going to need more of these, so I'll have to farm them tomorrow. That's fine, though. I planned on doing stuff tomorrow anyway, because I also want to get Act 3 of Natland done today. Now we need to do his talents. We want to do charge attack first. Then we go skill. Then his burst burst there we go and we can do one more that will go into his charged attack so that works eight seven seven i'd like to get these up a little bit but we need weekly bosses which i could actually go fight although i just used up all my resin which was not very smart i might as well just use one of them hey we got they're not the right ones i don't think now i need these and i could get these but i need to use dream solvents i think i'm fine with that we're going to use I'm gonna use some dream solvents there we go probably shouldn't have used all of them or you know three of them but that's fine actually there was no point in doing that because i need two anyway i'm out of these which is a problem let me go farm them really quick so we can get everything up to eight i really do miss not being able to use shalonen obviously we can't use in this account but i have her in both my main account and supports only and oh my god does she make literally everything so much easier Actually, to be fair, this account's pretty garbage for exploration. Fontaine characters are not very good at exploring. I mean, Lynette and Clarant go fast, but that's about it. Farina can walk on water, which is cool. We can't really climb things very well, though. And there isn't a character that can make us climb things very well. Well, a little bit of crafting later. We can now get six of those. Boom, there we go. I cannot press buttons today. There we go. Linny can now have all eight talents. That is pretty good. I need to farm his weekly boss some more and farm more of these, but that is fine. 888 is pretty good. Now we just deal with this. So we want ER, crits, and attack. 
That's a really nice piece that Chevrus is... Chevrus? Oh my god. Cloran's on, but we can't use that. 30% crit damage is pretty good. We'll take, we'll take a good 30%. That's a 36.5 CV piece. We like that. That piece is pretty good. We don't, we don't need to change that. Why is he running HP? That is not what he should be running. That's why he's running HP. We don't have like any attack good, nor do we have any pyro damage. Or well, we do, but it's not very good. Uh, let me jump in here because I'm pretty sure they added Marichose. They did. Awesome. Let's see if I can get some pieces. Well, we don't even have a pyro damage piece that's offset that it even work. So I guess we can look for an offset attack sands. We did get this if it wants to roll crit rate. I mean, it did. The stats are pretty horrible. But if it somewhat sticks to crit rate, it will be... It's, it's sticking to flat HP. This is the last roll. Yep, awesome. Lovely. Well, let's go run the Marachose domain. My expectations are like right on the floor. They are as low as they can possibly get. So even one semi-decent piece will be an upgrade and it will be above my expectations. It always seems that when I'm recording a video trying to build a character and get them to do big damage, the game just decides, mm, you know what? No, we're not gonna give you any good artifacts. You don't need those. Ooh. Oh, wait a minute. Hold the phone. That could be gorgeous. It's not even better than what we've currently got. I mean, it is a little bit because it's higher crit damage, but this has better stats. Yes, why of course. Because why would I want good pieces? Well, here's the last one of the day. I'm going to leave it here for farming. I can do more tomorrow if I feel like it, which I probably won't because farming sucks and it's painful and everything about it's annoying and I don't like it. Although I probably will use my resin in here tomorrow. And we can hope for some upgrades on this monstrosity. There's some pieces for you. Look at this. That's okay, I guess. That one is decent. That's absolutely incredible. Also absolutely incredible. And it's decent. That now puts him at 1700 attack, 42 to... 193. I will come back tomorrow to finish this off. I will farm more of his artifacts and then farm the hydro thingamajigs. Hopefully get this weapon up and then we, yeah, just pray that we get better artifacts and we can slightly improve his build. I'll also do Natlan tomorrow or the third act of Natlan because at the moment I have to go start recording a very, very large video for pistols only. So I shall see you tomorrow. And we're back. You have no idea how many tries that took me to try to even get it remotely lined up to hitting me. And I, I got close enough. So I've already gone and done all of the farming I needed to do. We now have perfect amount of these. Oh, we have double the amount of those, but that's fine. That now means we can get the weapon up to level 90. And I already used the resin for today, and we got a whole load of nothing. Which means that these very not good pieces are going to be our best. Which sit Linny at 2,122 attack. 51 EM, but that's useless. 42.9 to 193. That 42 will go up to 66, I'm pretty sure. Because... Well, we could get three stacks of this. Realistically, we might only get two stacks. Even if we get three stacks, that just bumps it up to 78, which is still not maxed out, so that's fine. So now that he's built, before we go test him out and see what damage he does, hopefully he does like at least 10k on the prop arrow thing, whatever this is called, I am going to go do Act 3 of Natlan, get that done. But because I've already done this quest so many times... I'm going to use a little bit of um, editing magic, fitting with the theme of magic. So this quest will be done very, very quickly. So just like that, Natlan Act 3 is done. Now let's go see what our lovely Linny is doing. 
see if we can magic up some big numbers. Let's see. 25k hitting 10k from the skill. Is that 29k? 20 k You know what? That's more damage than I thought we'd be hitting. I thought we'd be hitting maybe just 10k, but there were some 29s there. So that's pretty good. I think the main reason we're doing those 29s is because we got the HP went up and down. So we got the actual crit rate. Otherwise, I don't think that 10k was a crit. Pretty sure that 25 from the skills initial hit also wouldn't have been a crit. So I'm going to head over to Scaramouche. I'm not going to claim his drops because no one needs his drops, I'm pretty sure. I used Chevrus' skill just then and now we're up to 54%. That's only one proc of this. There we go. That's three procs, I think, now. And we're up to 78. Rotations. Switch. That was 40k. 16k. Linny Burst. Does. No, is that 94k? My goodness, Linny. Chill out. Well, uh, we are definitely doing good damage. We, we leave that now because I don't want to do any more in there. But I think I saw a 94k and a 40k and then some 20ks. Which, that's pretty good. That's some nice damage. We like to see that. Doesn't make him the strongest, but does make him the second strongest. Mix that in with Emily, who obviously I wasn't using at the moment, but mix it in with Emily's 30 plus K on her burst. And boom, this team will probably shred pretty, pretty nicely. Our problem then is going to be the second team because this will be one team. And then we'll have, I guess, just Nouvellet and Clorand solo with Fremenet, because why not? The, yeah, we'll have no supports on the other team. It'll just be Nouvellet, Clorand, and probably Risley. And Fremenet, I guess. Or actually, no, I'll probably run Hydro Traveler to increase Nouvellet's HP. So it's just going to be a team of DPSs plus Hydro Traveler for Hydro Resonance. Yeah, Nouvellet can solo things anyway, so that should be should be sweet. Hopefully we can clear some Abyss now. Although I'm going to wait till I get Risley before I go into trying to clear Abyss because Fremenet and to the Traveler don't do a whole lot, so they are definitely not going to help us clearing Abyss. But Linny now does some pretty damn good damage. I will take that 94k. I'm pretty sure it could have been 9,400, but I think it was 94k. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. If you like this content, do consider subscribing. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and good. Bye. Mm -hmm.